We got the Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Four of Wands, and then we have the Nine of Swords. There is a past person that could be missing you, Leo. Whoever this is, this is somebody that may be very conflicted with themselves. Or they could be going back and forth with their family, Leo, about you. Some of you guys, they could be taking it out on their family because they miss you so much, Leo. But I am getting this energy where... This person does want to come forward, but they could be resistant. Some of you guys, this person thinks you are in another relationship. And it has this person very worried about it. This person is very worried that you may already be taken, Leo, because you have been focusing on yourself. But I am seeing that somebody behind the scenes is missing you. Let's dive deeper in this situation. Yes, this person is definitely missing you. They're taking it out on other people behind the scenes because they don't know whether they should come forward or not. They just don't know. So some of you guys, maybe you are aware of the simple fact that this person is missing you. Or this person has just came to terms that they are missing you and they want to come back and they want to reconcile. So y'all can just read it however way you see it but it's telling me this person does miss you leo they miss the good times that you guys had wow somebody realizes that you are a blessing they realize that you are a blessing to them now some of you guys can be a new person that you have in your life but they could be holding back from you but this is somebody that does know that they are capable of being happy with you, whether they are new or whether they are old. Because they had to come to terms that you are a blessing in their life, Leo. We got control. It's like they're trying to restrict themselves, hold back. They don't want it to end. This person definitely don't want it to end with you, Leo. They're trying to control themselves, but I just felt like they it, it, it's like they purposely holding back, put it like that. It's like they want to come forward, but they keep resisting. This is somebody that's resisting. They just don't know whether they should or or not. But just know that they are very much all in their head about the situation. Because they want to express how they really feel. But let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. What else spirit in the situation? They're trying to control themselves. That's what they're trying to do. We got the creator. Yeah, this is somebody that realized, realized that they need to change themselves. They need to change their life because they have gained some form of attachment towards you. They know they have a contract to fulfill with you, Leo. And um, this blessing that came into their life, which is you, it has them fearful for real. They're afraid of it. They are afraid of you. They're afraid of being happy with you, Leo. But they know that being with you, it, do, it does require them to make changes within themselves and around themselves. We got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody that definitely has their mind made up. We got the Tower. Some of you guys' person is in a relationship with somebody else. And that could be the reason why they're like having some form of conflict with that person. You know, because they really don't want to be here for real. They don't, they really don't want to be there. They just there just because maybe they are taking care of the home if they are in a relationship. But this is someone that definitely came to terms that, you know, you are a blessing to them and 
they they mind is definitely made up to walk away from something i'm seeing a lot of endings so your person you know it's like they're afraid of having to end something in their life which is a past relationship but they know they have to because the person that they're holding on to the person that they are so all about is just very i'm hearing detrimental to them to their to their mind their heart their soul so it's just somebody that's very rich, that's very toxic that they got to release, Leo. You know, it's like they finally come to terms that they realize that they have a toxic person in their hands that they are dealing with that they need to let go of. And it's like when they met you, you were more of a blessing to them, which kind of like frightened them because they know that their life would have to change in order for this new beginning with you to happen. Look, your person knows they need to take action. They know this. Okay, let's keep it moving. Yeah, they definitely have their mind made up to walk away from something. Yes, they may be devastated about it because they've been holding on to this person for so long. But I just keep hearing that person has just been very, like, detrimental to your person's life. They're not good for your person, Leo. But when you came in their life, you were somebody that was just a total, like, a, a different breed, I'm hearing. Somebody different. Oops, I left out a card. So at this point, they could be basically making changes in um, letting go of somebody and trying to like get themselves back in alignment, Leo, basically. But they are definitely daydreaming about you constantly. Yes, they're afraid. Of what they could have with you. But just know that they know they need to get their mind and their heart right before they can come forward. But the thought of being with you and having that family with you, their mind is made up. I knew it. Your person mind is made up. That's the clarity right there. That's the that, that's the decision that they have made to be with you. You know, and we got thrills right here. Yeah, your person realized that. They have to let somebody go because they was just very toxic. Somebody was very intoxicated. Maybe the person that they were dealing with was always drinking a lot. And they would try to, like, fight them and try to control them a lot. You know, it's like they kind of, like, devastated about this ending. But they know that the person that they was holding on to was bad for their health. That's exactly what I heard. Your person was holding on to somebody that was just bad to their health. You know, bad business, just bad in general. I'm hearing bad B. So maybe your person was only with that person because it was a bad B. Maybe they felt like they was just somebody that was very beautiful. But on the inside, they just was toe up to the flow up. Like literally their heart, I mean, their looks wasn't matching, aligning with their, um, their looks wasn't aligning with who they were. So it's like when you met them, like I said, it's a totally different vibe. Literally, it was nothing but good vibes, good times, Leo. And your person haven't been able to let go of that moment. You know, it, it, like when they met you, the good times that they have shared with you, it woke them up to realize that they need to wake up and smell the roses, you know, and um, slow some things down in their life and get rid of some value you know, and get rid of somebody that has just crossed the line. You know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody that has just been very disrespectful towards them, Leo. I surely feel like your person were dealing with somebody that was very disrespectful. But let's dive deeper and see if, like I said, they are, their mind is already made up to come back. Because they do want something long term with you, Leo. You know, but I just felt like at this point, they still could be in a lot of shock because of them having de to detach themselves from that toxic person. Because the person that they was holding on to was very toxic and very intoxicating, I'm hearing. You know, and it was just... They could have been in a, like a um a soul tie, I'm hearing, but it was like an unhealthy attachment to that person that they were holding on to, Leo. But let's dive deeper and see what's happening in the physical right now with your person. We already know their mind is already made up to come forward towards you after ending up a, a, a situation. Intimidate. So you, some of you guys, maybe this person could be a little bit intimidated a little bit. 
you know, like I said from the beginning, they may have been resistant to come forward because they just didn't know exactly where they fit you in their life due to what they had in their life or what they currently have. Because some of y'all, maybe this energy hasn't happened yet, but there's some form of intimidation right here. Oh, your person's afraid of the truth. Your your person's afraid of being. We're gonna dive deeper. We just gonna try to dive deeper. I ain't gonna talk too much. <laughs> we're gonna dive a little bit deeper. What else is happening with your person behind the scenes? Self reflecting. So some of you guys they're afraid of of like of of coming forward to you, right? Which is having to be the true authentic self. Because like I said, somebody's so used to that. Somebody is very toxic, right? Um, they're afraid of having to come in and give you all of them. And they are thinking about it, Leo. They're definitely doing a lot of self-reflecting, Leo. Okay. They just don't want to feel deceived coming forward. We got objectivity. They don't want to, basically, they don't want to lead, allow their feelings to lead their life anymore. So it's like they're trying to, like, think of doing things in a more logical way. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to just do something out of impulse when it comes to moving forward with you. Like I said, they know that they need to get their mind and their heart right in alignment before they actually come forward. Because they just don't want to do stuff out of impulse. Yeah, they in a lot of worry. They are very anxious about y'all connection, y'all. You know, and um, I just feel like at this point, it, it kind of does still, it's like their mind is made up, but they still scared. They still scared of what they can have with you because they know that what they can have with you is something that they always wanted. You see what I'm saying? And um, at the same time, they don't want to jump the gun like they don't want to move too fast because they just they know they just got out of a situation and they're allowing to take them you know they allow themselves to take time to to heal you know so it's a lot it's a lot you know they know that it will be a lot to deal with you y'all but they know that it will be something good oh wow so some of you guys maybe this person is afraid of also of you know you not being loyal to them or they're not being capable of being loyal to you. Because they know that they need to be truthful with you. So this is somebody that knows they really completely ain't let go of their ex, y'all. Like I said, even though mentally and emotionally, I mean, even though physically they probably already let go. But maybe they still like mentally and emotionally, this person is still there. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we have recharge right here. And um, they they feel like they're not all the way over this person yet because this is somebody that knows that they're capable of like physically going back. You see what I'm saying? Even though physically they have left that person, they're not technically together. They know that they are somebody that is capable of going back. So this is like it could be a back and forth situation with this their ex and um and knowing that they have you to actually move forward with Leo. But it is telling me that they know that in order for them to actually fully be all in, they need to give their all. They need to give their best. So this is somebody that knows that they're not right now ready. And they know that they're not over their ex because um, they, they don't want to be coming in and being dishonest and being disloyal to you, Leo. So that they rather do it the right way. Look, but they do want to be with you. Look. Even though they may have been afraid to fully let go somebody that has been disloyal to them, I'm seeing that also. It's like your person will finally stand in their integrity, Leo, and make a commitment towards you. Whether this is like start something slow, like I said, maybe they want to start taking and taking you out and get to know you a little bit more, or they just maybe they just want to flat out and offer you a commitment. I'm not sure how deep in that you guys were in this connection with them. Or how far y'all have become. But this is their mind that's made up is to be with you. And they had just been thinking about this so much. Like literally. You know. But eventually they will step up. They will come in after thinking about it for so much for so long. 
We got the Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that is coming to give you an offer, Leo. Because they know that you are somebody that don't have nobody. They know you don't have any other options. They know this. They chose you. This is somebody that chose you. So if they did, if they were in some form of illusion with their toxic ex, or if they were dealing with other people, I just feel like they came out of that illusion and they are finally offering you a commitment, Leo. They chose you. Literally, it's telling me that your person has made a decision after thinking about, you know, whether they should pursue you or not, you know, or and how about and, and thinking about going through the emotions. Like they were going through it. They were going through the emotions. They were going through on how they want to pursue you and all of that, Leo. That's exactly what I'm seeing. But now I'm hearing I chose you. This is somebody that's definitely ended it a person with a person that was very self-centered, very disloyal to your person and everything. Very controlling. So even if your person is telling me that your, even though your person wasn't really in a relationship with that person anymore, they were still going back and forth with that person. But technically they still, the controlling partner was still acting like they had them. You see what I'm saying? I'm seeing that. But there's definitely an ending. Wow. And a lot of y'all know this person does have feelings for you. Deep feelings for you. The high priestess, some of y'all for water sign. Don't have to be. Or it could be a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Well, that's a water sign also. I'm also seeing Taurus. It could be an earth or a water sign. But I am seeing that a lot of y'all do have this deep knowing that this person does love you. And you know this person will come back. But right now, they could be in a, um, a weak state right now. Like far as like for I, I I'll say both ways like I said they still need to recharge they still need to heal from a person that they was stuck in some form of illusion in you know with somebody that was like literally abusing them mentally and emotionally your person was being abused by that third party and it's sad because your person was in an illusion holding on to them but just know in due time Leo, your person will eventually wake up and come back and choose you. But it's telling me that they will be offering you a solid commitment. Because they know that you are somebody that has your mind already made up about them anyways, right? So why not? So when this person come back in, y'all going to be real happy. Because they're about to offer you a commitment. Some of y'all this person is going to want to get engaged to you. A little bit later down the line. I don't feel like it's going to happen that fast. Because these are pinnacles Leo. But just know that your person is going to offer you something solid. And they will eventually um, commit to you in like a romantic way. Far as an engagement or something. Yeah they are willing to now make these, cha these, these changes. I don't feel like this energy is happening this fast, but I just feel like these are the like series of events that could be happening when they actually do make a move on you, Leo. They're going to make a move after resistance. They will. And like I said, they're doing the right thing by holding back, even if they don't like, even if they don't want to, because they know they need to heal and let go of their ex first before they actually um let go of their ex and then heal before they actually make a move so they're taking their time leo that's what i'm seeing for most of you guys especially if this is if this is a water sign or earth sign this person is definitely taking their time because they know that you want them they know that you love them they and they and they love you too some of y'all this person is watching you but it's telling me that You'll be very happy when this person come in and make an offer to you because you you gonna make them better. I'm hearing you make me better. So some of you guys, y'all are gonna help this person improve their life in a way. Yeah, y'all knew this person was gonna come back. Look, didn't I say keep saying that? Y'all gonna this person gonna offer you some type of engagement. They some of y'all they may want to get engaged right away, especially if they have already told you in the past or recently that they want was looking forward to get married one day. Listen, their mind is made up to start a family with you. And it don't even have to be opposite sex. It could be same sex. Because like I said, tarot don't have gender. It, it all It's all about whether it resonates with you or not, right? But yes, your person, mind is already made up to build a family with you. Some of y'all already got kids. They already probably got kids. But they could be wanting to still come together and have a, bit, a blended um, family. They do, you know. But just expect this person to... 
you know, after things start to progress in y'all connection, Leo, your person is going to offer you some type of engagement. I'm telling you, this is somebody that's not looking, that want to get married. They may have been overthinking it for a while, but so it's telling me that y'all ain't talking to them right now because they, at this point, they still could be in a hit. Look, Virgo energy, more earth and um water energy. I'm seeing straight earth and water could be fire or somebody's got a lot of water and earth or water or earth in the astrology chart. But yes, this person wholeheartedly love you. But they, t I'm telling y'all, they try to like, they overthink their emotions for you. But just know they will get it right because they know they love you. They know they battling with themselves on whether they should do it or not. Because like I said, they don't want to move too fast. They don't want to jump the gun. But they are getting away from somebody that they were once holding on to. It saves themselves for you because they have came to be very aware that they cannot nurture a connection with that person that they were nurturing before because they realize they want to give their loyalty to you. And they feel like giving their love and their loyalty to you, Leo, it's a lot more easier. It's a lot more easier. And that's what they're going to do. You are somebody that, that brings peace in their life. You balance this person out. I'm telling you. And they ain't going to regret dealing with you. But what they do regret is wasting their time with somebody that didn't appreciate them, that caused nothing but chaos in their life, that always wanted to go back and forth and argue with them. You see what I'm saying? So expect this person to like, when the time is right, they're going to pop up, child. This person is going to pop up in your life, Leo. They just need some space. They just need some time to recharge, some time to recharge and Get over their ex so they can come in and give you the commitment that you deserve. I'm hearing they are saving the best for last, child. And that's you. Saving the best for last. That's exactly what I just heard. Look, because they've been through a lot. At this point, they're going through some day on this journey alone. You know, behind the scenes. I feel like they already let go of that ex. But like I said, they may have been battling with themselves mentally and emotionally, you know, and trying to get out of that illusion of like holding on to that past person. But eventually, I'm telling you, your person will find the strength to let go and be on their own for a little bit. Yep, I knew it. And gain their power back. They will. They will gain their power back. They will gain their strength back. They will be, they'll have... Listen, they know what they deserve. But it's also telling me this person going to come through and they're going to take the lead. They're going to take the lead. You listen, because they know that they can have it with you. At this point, your person is all about thinking about you, Leo. They really is. Look, they're going to change their mind about you. Some of y'all may not... Maybe you know, this person may not be your usual type or to them, to you, that you may not be their usual type. But listen, your usual type, the person that's not your usual type will definitely change your life. So expect this person to come back. Expect them to come back and start over with you. Now I'm hearing that song, make it last forever. I'm here and make it last forever, child. That's what they want. They want forever with you. That could be the reason why I came here and make it last forever because they want forever with you. Your person is looking for, I'm here. I don't know. Some of y'all, a person could have been like a hopeless romantic. I'm hearing. Maybe they just is somebody, I'm telling you, I gotta be a water sign or this could just be somebody had a lot of water in their chart or it could be a Virgo. But this person wants forever with you. I keep hearing that song. Is that Keep Sweat? Make it last forever? I don't know, child. I think it is. But they want something that's everlasting. Love. They want that everlasting, unconditional, deep bond. Like, they looking for connections. That's what they want. They want a bond. They don't want somebody that's going to come in their life and disrespect them and be, you know, try to tear them apart. I'm telling you. But when they with you, child, nothing but good vibes. And they like that. Listen, it's a win. Dealing with you is a win. So it's telling me your person is eventually is going to like obtain something. They want to grow with you, Leo. Spiritually, they they growing within them. This is okay. We got interference. 
they have obtained something, but somebody is trying to intervene in their... Oh, so it's like your person physically did walk away from that crazy, disrespectful ex of theirs that they were holding on to, but I just feel like they they undergoing like a spiritual battle where they kind of like being pulled in two different directions, but just know that eventually they will free themselves from anybody or anything that may intervene in what they want with you because they are determined to make it right. And I just keep hearing, make it last forever. I just keep hearing that song. Then I say like your person is, they want to do the right thing. They want to do what's best for them. They don't want to continue to stay and battle with themselves, Leo, about somebody that's not loyal to them, somebody that constantly disrespect them, somebody that just don't see their worth. And you could be the only person that have seen this person's worth, Leo. Like when they met you, I, I'm telling you, you the only person that that may have seen this person's worth, and they admire that about you. They love that about you. But just know that after being bat like battling with themselves for a while, because they already left the, the toxic lover, I, I feel like physically they have. But like I said, mentally and emotionally, still was battling spiritually with that person. But they will eventually find the, tr the strength to come forward, Leo. They just, you know, they just going through a lot right now, mentally and emotionally. So, yes, they may have been afraid to come in, but I feel like them being in, like afraid to come forward has something to do with them not healing fully yet. But they will. Look, didn't I say liberation? They will walk away. And this is how they feel. They feel like they could be free when they're dealing with you, Leo. You're not putting pressure on this person to come forward. You're not putting pressure on this person to commit to you. They love the simple fact that you do allow them to be free to heal. They like that. Somebody could be 37, don't have to be, or there could be an age gap between y'all, maybe three to seven years of an age gap between you and this person. Somebody could be a Libra, but it's all about equality. They look at you as their equal. And they could be their true authentic selves. Listen, child. This person can, they feel like they can, they can feel free when they're around you and they feel like they can be their, your true authentic self. But it is telling me that they are getting back to themselves. If they wasn't themselves fully, mentally, emotionally, that's what you are allowing. I keep hearing spirit saying that you are allowing this person's freedom to have their freedom so they can get back to themselves being in true authentic selves. Because even if you did meet them, Leo, while they probably were still dealing with their ex, having a hard time getting over them mentally and emotionally, it's like your person still wasn't fully themselves. You see what I'm saying? When they met you and you probably didn't even know it because they, you know, the way they came off, they was just so cool with you or whatever. But that is just something that they hid from you, that they still mentally and emotionally were still battling with their ex, you know, but just know that you giving them the space to get their self together. I'm so tired of these damn flies. But you are giving them the space to, you know, get themselves together mentally and emotionally. It's allowing them to heal and, um, you know, so they can get back right. They can get back to themselves before they come forward. So that's a good thing. Okay, one more card. Yeah, they listen. They're not saying that truth because they realize the truth. Like being by themselves. Um, so this person could be 30 years old. Some of you guys, this person could be 30 years old or 34. Somebody could be 43. Don't have to be. But yes, they per this person realized the truth that they need to let go of, because they wasn't themselves. They need to let go of somebody that's not their equal. That person wasn't their other half. That person was the damn devil. You see what I'm saying? They was killing your person in a way. And I'm talking about like mentally and emotionally draining your person. But now your person is, I'm telling y'all, when your person let go of this person mentally, emotionally, they're going to start to feel like themselves again. They're going to feel free. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get back to themselves. It's like they are being reborn again, Leo. That's what I'm seeing. We got naked. They are being reborn again to being their true authentic selves. But they realized that's why they were, were in that state of mind for so long and in that illusion with that person because that person was draining their spirit. There was being a there was a demon. There was I'm telling y'all, y'all person was dealing with somebody that was very tough. 
tough to deal with and just constantly giving your person a hard time. But expect this person to eventually come forward, you know, after resisting Leo. But I'm going to go ahead and end it and y'all take care.